guys welcome back so in today's video i am going to attempt to recreate one of the looks that i had created and a lot of you really liked it and i realized that i hadn't filmed it at that time and i am trying to do that again and while i do the makeup i thought i should just catch up with you guys make this a really chatty get ready with me uh, some of you enjoy really short videos and some of you really really like the long ones where i'm talking a lot where i'm sharing a lot um so this one's going to be that and i hope you guys enjoy it so i'm just going to get started on it immediately and the first thing that i'm going to do is apply some primer water this one's from smashbox it's their photo finish serene greens primer water now this is something that i've only recently started using and i quite like it it's really nice to prep your base and just spraying a little bit all over my face helps um, just calm the skin down and also makes it slightly tacky and that way the foundation tends to slip on better and yeah so that's the first step next I'm actually going to apply a little bit of moisturizer and stroke cream as a primer um, I recently tried this for uh, a video I did on my Instagram showing the MAC stroke cream and I really like the finish so I decided to uh, try like a drugstore variant to that look and today I'm going to try the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel. I quite like this. I think I'm a fan of this one. And then for the glow and the dewy finish, I'm going to use the dupe. It's almost like a dupe. So this one's the Maybelline one. It's their Master Strobing Cream. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this onto the back of my hand. Uh, this one's got a nice golden finish to it. And then I am just going to take a little bit of the Neutrogena cream and mix it. I feel like that's a lot. Oh gosh, whatever. I guess we'll just run with it. I am actually going to use this stippling brush that Nykaa has recently launched and I really like this for liquid product, um, liquid products. So I'm going to use that today to apply this all over my face. So the reason why I mixed the I just realized I forgot to sit with a mirror. Um, oh well, I think I'm just going to use the highlighter as a mirror today. Uh, so the reason why I mixed the <clears throat> cream with it is to make the stroke cream a little bit easier to spread all over my face. And ooh, it's leaving a, quite a shine. It's making my skin quite shimmery. So I'm just making sure to never really tried this. So hopefully it looks nice. That has added a glow to my skin. Hmm, that looks nice. So just gonna apply it all over. And the moisturizer is also going to, of course, moisturize my skin. And yeah, I really have been enjoying prepping my base quite a lot before I go ahead and apply any sort of foundation. So for foundation today, I am going to use the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hours Full Coverage Foundation in the shade Golden. Uh, just shaking that up a little bit and applying that onto the back of my hand just taking three pump because I think I'm going to use like a good full coverage today and I am going to use the YBP sponge today to spread this and blend it all over my face oh my god guys I think I put up an Instagram post raving about the YBP sponge I never thought it could get better because it was already so good but she's kind of pile the creator so I don't know if you can tell it has become really fluffy it's much more fluffier and airier than before and it is really really nice it does not really absorb too much of the product and just gives such a nice finish and it also applies powder really really well 
Okay, so moving on to concealer, I'm going to use the MAC Studio Fix Concealer. This is their long wear concealer and I really liked how lightweight this concealer was and for anything that says 24 hours, I immediately associate the product to be like really thick and uh, a little heavier than one what this is and it's a very lightweight product I don't know if you can tell and it just blends really really easily I'm going to use the Nika concealer brush to blend this because I just find that to be a little bit more precise and I'm also going to take it onto my eyelid I really like the Nika brushes they're quite sturdy um, very similar looking to the real technique brushes um, and I like that the bristles are super smooth and the color is quite pretty as well the rose gold packaging I think I would recommend this for anyone who's like a beginner and for like an everyday purpose I think this would serve really well all right, so I'm done with the concealer. I'm quickly going to apply some powder. I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me one today. This is in the shade medium. Oh my God, I've got a lot of powder on top of it. Oh gosh, this is what traveling does to you. Everything gets spilled everywhere. Speaking of which, I have been traveling quite a bit again using the Nykaa brush. It was just out there. I just made a video, which is why I'm using the Nykaa brushes. Um, and I, I, it was nice to kind of, the application was quite nice with them too, so that's why I'm using this. Speaking of travel, I just got back from Bali and I just took like a random trip there, decided to take a break and go and it was amazing. It was my first time in Bali. Bali was an experience I'm not going to forget. It was so scenic, so therapeutic quiet i stayed in ubud so it was really quiet it was amidst the jungle and the rice paddy and it was just stunning i went and did the bali swings i um didn't really go to most of the touristy places like the monkey forest and stuff uh it was it was just nice to kind of chill in the resort and just be there and eat good food and shop a little bit let me know if you guys want me to show you everything that i picked up from bali the stuff there is really really cute so yeah i'm done with my powder and my base is almost done now i'm going to move on to my eyes and today i'm going to use this color bar eyeliner this is their ultimate eyeliner in ultimate mauve it's this purple eyeliner it ends up looking a little blue in pictures uh, but yeah this is what I had used originally in that picture I'm just kind of shaking it because I haven't used this for the longest time and I don't want the product to get stuck while I'm using it so it's a felted liner so it's fairly easy to use this as a beginner and before I start I'm just going to apply a little bit of powder here because I did apply concealer and I don't want it to crease See how beautiful that color is. So I'm just gonna do a quick winged eyeliner. Every time I do something on my eyes, my camera tends to focus on the product, not my eyes. So I hope that's not happening. But I'm just drawing a winged eyeliner. I want this to be slightly thicker than I normally wear my liners because I want this to be like really graphic. Okay, so that's it for this eye. I am going to go ahead and repeat the exact same thing on the other eye. Okay, so that's it for the eyes. And now I am going to apply mascara before we go ahead and do the inner corners. I have curled my lashes and I'm using the Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara. This is the waterproof one.
this has been a current favorite and I have been wearing this so 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 much I love the finish and especially for the price it's amazing I hope you guys have already tried this because I think I have spoken so much about this mascara and let me know if it has worked for you guys because it works really really well for me you see how much of a difference mascara makes just opens up the eyes and of course in true Debushri fashion I had to have some on my eyelid don't worry I'm gonna clean that and I am going to run the mascara through my eyebrows to create this really feathery effect I have a full tutorial on this in case you'd like to go watch that but I really like how the mascara defines all of my lashes so many of you have tagged me in stories after you've tried this yourself and I love love looking at your recreations and I am quickly going to apply some on my lower lashes too so keep tagging me if you ever recreate I love love sharing your pictures on my insta story it just really motivates me and you guys inspire me just reading all your messages on DM makes my day it truly does so for eyeshadow I am going to use the makeup revolution salvation ultimate color chaos palette so the palette has some lovely colors and I'm actually going to use this little neon yellow and use that on my inner corner so I'm using a small liner brush for this this is the Bobbi Brown ultra fine eyeliner brush and I'm just using this to pick up the eyeshadow so I'm going to take this onto my, ooh that looks so nice, I'm going to apply this onto my inner corner. So I'm slowly going to build up the color into the inner corner, it's a very very chalky color. Fallouts are bound to happen, mm -hmm. I'm going to use the brush to kind of Ooh, that looks so nice and that's it I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other eye so for blush today I'm going to use the pot rouge for lips and cheeks by Bobbi Brown in the shade blushed rose and I'm applying that onto my cheeks and just using a stippling brush to blend it and I really like the color I'm going to use the sponge to kind of blend it further. So for highlighter today, I'm using the Baked Highlighter from PAC. This is in the shade number 7. And it's really, really pretty and shimmery. It just makes your face glisten. So for lipstick today, I'm going to use this one from Nykaa. This is the Nykaa Lip Stone Light Lip pencil in the shade chocolate boy I've never really tried it but I wanted something neutral for this look so I think this is gonna look nice So that's it this is the finished look i hope you guys like this i had so much fun just talking in this video and not doing a voiceover for a change and um, just explaining everything that i've been loving and everything that i've been doing and i really want to just sit down and do more of these chatty sort of videos so please let me know if you like shorter videos or longer videos so i can film them accordingly for you guys and I really want you guys to follow me on my Instagram as well because that's where I usually show everything uh, that I've been trying out and it's just fun and up to date. Uh, so yeah, that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye!